Starting to think I ain't oh. alone here. Hold your ass. Rup stuck in there. Ain't supposed to be here. Hey, this is a massive fool. Oh. Y'all beat the devil out of him. Pow, motherfucker. you upstairs. You'll fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident.
We got ourselves a guest. Tony's up on the triggers. Fucking fall for this. Let's look this way.
Get that stupid son of a Get bitch! Asshole, 12 o'clock! Find him! Hit the door! Grenade! Grenade! Dead asshole, 12 o'clock!
re-election spoiled. <sighs> <clears throat> Mystery fucking solved. Get that asshole. I got the front. Oh, oh. motherfucker. sights. That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step and he gets it. Can you think I give a shit about some politicians? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on!
got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is... Anything. Oh, just say it. You just say it. <laughs> Lord almighty. State Senator Walter Jacobs was killed this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek that the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt, while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal McConnell. Another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are a cruel and wicked people. Is it over? There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. Whether it's Haitian men locking down a racket or not, you already got me running most of this city. In the long run, it's easier to keep everything running through me. Then you know you got nothing to worry about. Okay, so you got yourself a 50-50 split in this district. Now let's be honest. Odds are good you're probably gonna do just fine either way you go. But I'd be happy as hell if you went my way. I've stuck by you. You got no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment, Lincoln. Don't second guess this, Lincoln. Take your time. I'm sitting... Calling this one for Scaletta. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. 
Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Indulge me for a second here. I got something to say. You and me, we knew it wouldn't be easy. And that, more than likely, we'd suffer some losses along the way. But we made it. Now all we gotta do is figure out how the fuck to keep a hold of it. Fuck. Fuck! You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. I know how hard it was losing Burke. But sometimes, people do everything they can to destroy any chance they have for happiness. You did everything you could. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. I'm gonna need you two to work out your shit. This ain't the Cassandra and Vito show. We need to be on the same page, because it won't be long before someone else comes up and tries to take us out. <laughs>